everything in this world is temporary. Our lives, our loved ones, our homes, everything. This is true for some of the world's most valuable structures as well. At some point, everything must be torn down to be built once again. It's very rare that buildings eventually decay on their own. Oftentimes, humans spend a lot of time maintaining buildings to ensure that they'll last as long as possible. In the end, this means that the majority of buildings must be torn down, often leading to large expenses and weeks, maybe months of effort on the behalf of the construction crew. Today, we'll be taking a look at eight of the biggest mistakes ever made during demolition. Stay tuned because this video is going to get unbelievable. Also, make sure you stick around for number three. It's one of the craziest on today's list. With that said, be sure to hit that like button and let's jump right into today's video. Wrong House We'll be starting off today's video with one of the dumbest mistakes a construction crew could ever make, tearing down the wrong building. You'd think that upon arriving at the property, you'd double check and make sure that you were at the correct address. However, in this instance, the workers made no attempt to do this and led to a tragic mistake. The story takes place in early 2020 in Texas. A small town near Dallas was the home of an adorable house that the locals had nicknamed the Pink House. The house had been standing for many years, and at this point in its life, it was beginning to show its age. The house was the former home of an older woman who lived to be 97 years old. Her name was Mary Ann. However, as Marianne's health began to decline, she would eventually succumb to her old age and pass away. At the time of her death, there was one heir to her legacy and her small fortune, a man named Jeremy Winninger. Jeremy lived in California at the time, so he was rarely able to check in on the home. Because of this, he hired a janitorial service to visit the house every now and then and make sure everything was all right. However, one day when they arrived, they reported shocking news to Jeremy. The home had, by all means, vanished. As it would turn out, a company known as JR's Demolition had torn the house down and hauled off all the debris. As it would turn out, the demolition team was supposed to be tearing down a different home on the same street and got their addresses mixed up. The owner of the business issued a formal apology, but the damage had already been done. St. Thomas West Residential Building This story goes to show how even when you hire trained professionals, you don't really know who you may be working with. A team was hired to tear down an old, dilapidated building in Tennessee. This building was once a futuristic 11-story building that would be the home for countless employees who worked at the St. Thomas West Hospital located a short distance away. A video of this incident was recorded from the hospital window located in Belmede. The video begins quietly enough, but the office worker had no idea what he was about to capture on camera on that fateful day. From the video, you can see an excavator has pulled up to the front of the building. From the looks of it, he was the only one who'd shown up for work that day. As the video begins, you can see the excavator ramming into the building over and over. Even to a layman, it's pretty obvious that this is not a smart way to tear down a building. Who knows what this guy must have been thinking? After ramming the building a few times, nothing happens. However, without a second's notice, the building suddenly crashes down, burying the excavator and everything around it. I'm sure most of us likely saw this coming, but the poor excavator operator never stood a chance. Immediately after this happened, the video went viral and caused an uproar from the locals who were begging to know where the rest of the work crew was. The person who filmed the incident from their office window can be heard saying, Oh, I hope he's okay. The Leaning Tower of Dallas We've all probably heard of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. However, have you ever heard of the Leaning Tower of Dallas? Yes, Dallas had its own leaning tower in 2020, 
much to the amazement of locals. A team of construction workers shows up to blow up a high-rise building in Dallas. It was expected to be an easy job. However, before long, the workers were left in a predicament. After they tried to blow up the building, a large portion of it remained standing. The building was left leaning in a terrible fashion, striking fear in everyone who saw it. Experts had no idea how they were supposed to fix this botched job. They were afraid that if they continued with their efforts, the building would end up harming other buildings in the area. It was left for a few days while the workers did their best to come up with a plan. During this time, countless locals flocked to the area to take photos with the Leaning Tower, and it quickly became an internet meme. However, after a short while, a crane had moved in and brought the building to the ground as was originally planned. Chimney in Alabama This story was a unique circumstance that was nearly fatal. A 50-meter-tall chimney in Pell City, Alabama was scheduled for demolition after an inspection found that it was in dire need of removal. Thus, the owners called in an excavator to remove the chimney and make the building safe once more. The excavator showed up a few days later and began to chisel away at the chimney, trying to break it apart from its foundation so that it could be easily removed. However, moments after beginning the operation, onlookers saw that something was wrong. In a disturbing turn of events, the chimney began to fall and it was headed directly for the excavator. Any normal person would have seen this, jumped out of the excavator and made a run for it. However, Tim Pfeiffer, the excavator operator, saw the impending danger and decided to stay put. If he had not done so, he would have likely lost his life. Tim had been working on buildings like this for decades and knew that his excavator was designed for scary circumstances like this. After the crash was over, Tim was able to exit his excavator safely and walk away from the incident unscathed. If he had left his excavator at the first sign of danger, he would have most likely been crushed. Red Road Flats in Glasgow this story is very unique because locals managed to prevent a potential disaster before it had even begun. Many years ago, the Red Road Flats, located in Glasgow, was one of the greatest and most luxurious buildings in the country. Throughout the 1960s, Glasgow was known for being a low-income area, and many of the people who lived there were living in less than desirable conditions. Because of this, the opening of the Red Road Flats was expected to be a massive change for the area. The building had the ability to house around 4,000 people and would have been one of the tallest buildings in Western Europe at the time. To top this off, the building was going to be built with underfloor heating, and each room would have its own indoor toilet and a source of hot water. These were all foreign concepts at the time, and they've certainly welcomed changes in the area. The building ended up helping to turn Glasgow from a low-income area into a metropolis, with thousands of jobs being created in the following years, leading to droves of people moving in. Though, as time passed, the building started to show its age. It was no longer a luxury establishment, but rather a memory of a time that had since passed by. Thus, in 2016, six of the historic buildings were scheduled to be demolished. However, after only three buildings had been torn down, the locals began to revolt and arranged riots and protests to keep the buildings where they stood. Over 17,000 citizens signed petitions to keep the buildings around, and in a shocking turn, the local government listened and agreed to cancel their plans to demolish the final three buildings of the Red Road Flats. Flower Factory in Turkey this story is almost completely unbelievable. A flower factory was located in southern Turkey and was scheduled to be torn down. The building had stood in its location since it was first built back in 1928. However, as years passed by, the building could not withstand the steady march of time. This meant that it needed to be removed before it became a hazard to the public. 
To make matters worse, the building was surrounded by residential housing buildings. The demolition workers who arrived to demolish the building were confident in their ability to tear down the building where it stood, never affecting the neighboring residential buildings. To do this, they decided to weaken the foundation of the building, then ignite an explosive that was designed to collapse the building as a whole. However, the unthinkable happened when they ignited the explosive. The building did not come crashing down, no, quite the opposite. The building uprooted itself from the ground, fell over, and began to roll. It eventually came to rest against one of the neighboring residential buildings, causing the apartments to wobble back and forth. Thankfully, the building stayed intact and no one was hurt. To remove the building from its newfound resting place, the demolition crew needed to disassemble it piece by piece over the next few weeks. Tower falls in the wrong direction. When breaking down a building or any other structure, it's always best to make sure the building will collapse in the correct direction. Otherwise, it may lead to disaster. That's exactly what took place in Springfield, Ohio back in 2016. A team of demolition workers was called in to break down an old chimney that was about 80 meters tall. The chimney had once been the exhaust chute for an old coal power plant, but the plant was no longer in use. The workers felt as though this was a very easy job, so they decided to hinder the structure of the chimney and send it crashing to the ground. However, it didn't fall in the intended direction. Instead, the building fell the opposite way than they had planned, knocking down a 12,000-volt power line and cutting power to 4,000 customers in the nearby area. On top of this, the chimney also took down a building that held countless generators as well. At the end of it all, the leader of the construction crew admitted that his team missed a large crack in one of the chimney walls, which likely explained why it fell in the wrong direction. Thankfully, no one was hurt. 93-Year-Old Bridge This demolition takes us to Little Rock, Arkansas, located in the United States. A 93-year-old bridge had been a main source of transportation for those living in the area. However, the government decided that the bridge was no longer safe and thus wanted to tear down the old bridge and build a new one. To do this, they called in a crew that was supposed to ignite several explosions underneath the bridge's structure and send it crashing into the water below. They spent weeks calculating the best course of action. They brought in several tons of TNT, strapped it to the bridge, then scheduled a day to bring the bridge down. The almost century-old bridge was about 850 meters long and would tower over the Arkansas River, helping drivers get from one side to another. Though considering its age, it was certainly time to get rid of the old dilapidated bridge and bring in a new one. Hundreds of locals came to the surrounding areas to watch the bridge explode and come crashing down. The workers ignited the TNT, and then nothing happened. The TNT was supposed to break the bridge apart and send it crashing down within just 30 seconds. However, the crash never happened. At the end of it all, it seems that the workers misjudged how thick the concrete of the bridge was, meaning that they needed to enter the water below the bridge and pull it down using ropes. Thankfully, at this point, the bridge collapsed as expected, though this was certainly one of the most embarrassing moments of the workers' careers. So there you have it, eight of the biggest demolition mistakes to have ever happened. Thankfully, in most of these cases, nothing truly bad ever happened and no one lost their life. These situations could have turned out a lot worse if these workers had been a bit more careless. It's important to note that, for the most part, demolition workers are excellent at what they do, and this is a highly skilled profession that takes years of training. However, regardless of this, all of us can make mistakes from time to time. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for more videos.